that's going on for the Muslim family. Um, it did cause me a bit of concern, frankly, because this was during the Gitmo era, during indefinite detention of American citizens or whomever. And um, uh, luckily, and ironically for me, I already had a record on, on Big Brother's radar as an activist in an Islamic setting in a very pro-U.S. capacity. I would learn a few years later that there was actually an official FBI investigation, and a number of people, including the owner of the website, were questioned. Um, and then last year, on the same website, uh, one of the old-timers there had, in the middle of a sort of a flame war with me, declared that he had proof of me uh, bragging about surreptitiously infecting people with HIV intentionally without disclosing. Um, and, you know, I spoke to the website owner that I was not in a position to sue for libel because of financial difficulty. So he actually conducted a trial that ended up blowing up the website. And in there, the, the person who had originally made this false accusation first admitted his lie, but then went on to threaten me with posting photos of myself all over Harlem calling me an AIDS monster that was decimating the black community and would keep this up for as long as I stayed in the trial, which I, I just saw it to the end and, you know, ended up splitting the website in half. The truth is that these people got this frenzy from the environment that has really first absorbed prosecutors and police throughout the country. They, they, this is simply a reflection of that environment where people feel free to lie, feel free to drum up hysteria, and to scapegoat people. And it becomes this thing where you get to, uh, I mean, in the classic definition of a scapegoat, you become the vessel for everybody to pour their hostility into. And it's whether you're gay, you're black, you're poor, uh, if you're any a number of these things, it's all the better for you to represent people's opportunity to express their hatred. And the first step toward neutralizing that has got to be getting the law to recognize that right. HIV yes. has changed, yes. HIV treatment has yes. changed, and there's no room for scapegoating yes. or hysteria. That's right. That's um, right. That's and right. I'm happy that I stood up to all this, um, and I'm sorry that it's you know as intense as it was. It was a real concern for me, and it was a bit Absolutely. of a nail biter. Right. Um, but I'm happy that I'm through it, and I hope that you know the efforts of this group can remedy that by passing Barbara Lee's HR 3053, yes, yes, um, yes. which in fact actually in, directs the Justice Department and the National Institutes of Health to study what are the best practices for changing the laws and reducing HIV transmission and does not fit any of the demonizations I myself have right, read of the bill. Right, right. And I encourage people to read the text of the bill, including city council members, and yes. not simply dismiss it based on hearsay, which I myself am ashamed to say I had done. Pass the law. Pass the law. Pass the law. Sign on. Pass the law. Sign on.